So a bit ago, I made a video about the datability of the Ultra Kill Hust variants. And in the comments of that video, it seems a lot of y'all trusted my wisdom on the most important type of P rank in Ultra Kill. So today, we'll be continuing this journey to collect the peas with how datable are the Ultra Kill robots. So with no more delay, well, let's just get right into this. <laughs> So the first robot we meet in Ultra Kill is none other than the Swords Machine. This tall robot armed with a shotgun and a custom sword is pretty impressive, so much so that they have copycats that mimic them across the circles of hell. On the matter of cats, their legs also terminate in cute little paws. So the pros of dating the cat scavenger. They know how to make the best of a bad situation, improving themselves however they can is a honestly pretty good trait in someone to date. Also, for people who are in the cat girls, I instead offer a far better alternative, Cat Robot. This is the pros of being made out of steel and requiring blood for fuel rather than expensive food. Along with this pro, you also have the fact that they're kind of like a little celebrity, and dating an idol is always kind of cool. The cons, well, having a shotgun for an arm kind of sucks in bed. Make sure that that gun is unloaded before doing anything, or else you will be getting a different type of ammo unloaded into you. Overall, Shorts Machine is a pretty cool robot, but not exactly Fisto tier, so I guess it boils down the taste for this unit. Taste out of 10. From here we can move to the drone unit. These small little pet sized enemies are purple and sport a laser as well as exploding upon death. The bros of dating these little lads are not many, but like, I guess sometimes personality is important, and sometimes people are attracted to violent exploding thing that wants to kill you. The cons are many, be it that you really shouldn't date something that can easily be your pet, the whole explodes when damaged too much preventing lots of bedtime activities, but honestly, the negatives are pretty large, so overall, I wouldn't date this bot at all, but it is your call at the end of the day. From that rather distasteful unit, we get to clean our palette a little bit with the street cleaners. Built to clean up trash, they were repurposed to scout out for an invasion of hell. These robots are pretty normal bots, sporting a normalish human build that is backed with a flamethrower as a weapon. Pros, it's a pretty usual normal robot. If you got a robo fetish that doesn't have any specific taste, this is honestly a pretty fair unit for that ideal. It is pretty much just a robot with a flamethrower. Cons, the flamethrower and the whole, they burn any living matter they encounter. You know, as a human, you might run into some problems with that. So as long as you aren't a human and are not made out of flesh, this robot is probably honestly a pretty solid date for any robo-lovers. Hot out of 10. Next we have the sentries. These sniper equipped leg bots are the bane of a fun time for many players. However, from a dating perspective, things are a bit more complicated. Pros, they really only have eyes for you. Once they walk onto a target, they will plant themselves down into the ground and really just not give up targeting on you. They're going to track you through anything, regardless of what damage they take, they just love you. So you know you've got yourself a loyal companion that's not going to be doing anything nefarious. Also in pros, they have some pretty cool legs, a benefit that certainly catches the eyes of those of you who crowd with a fancy for such an attribute, and it's actually such good legs that even Swords Machine is rumored to have done some things with these legs. Cons. Uh, do not try cheating. The whole they can see you far longer and more accurate than you can see them. The whole they only have eyes for you. If you cheat on these Johns, th that is something that will literally and figuratively blow up in your face. So honestly, loyal lover out of 10. Now, we get to approach the pinnacle of robot kind, and that is Mind Flayers. This robot is something that in many y'all's mind was the whole reason I even cobbled together my P ranks for this video. And the quote from Matthews 528 on the wiki certainly echoes a solid summary for these units. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. That's pretty much it for pros. I mean, that line perfectly explains everything. On the con side, we know that the body is a plastic shell that they built for themselves for aesthetic purposes. And that may pose some serious environmental issues that may deter some of us. Overall, you're a horned bastard out of 10. Now, if Mind Flayers was an approach to the pinnacle, then who su truly sits at the throne on the top? Well, none other than V2. This crimson, red, blood-driven robot with a strong hatred for V1 is a honestly interesting dating choice. Bros, V2 is fast, skilled in battle, and has unique personality. 
Cons, he can shoot your coins, definitely making him one of those arrogant tops that doesn't care too much about how you are. Overall, V2 is pretty cool, but as a dating option, he's the PGA golf equivalent of a date. So, nah. Luckily for us, Ultra Kill offers two more non-aggressive robots to have as dating choices, versus V2's blue older sibling, V1, who we know as the player character. Much of what applies to V2 applies here bar the unique personality. V1's only personality trait is defined as wanting to purge all life it comes across as fuel. Seeing as that it honestly isn't the best thing in a partner, I seriously got a question if you should date V1. I mean, we managed to make the PGA golf person look even better by V1's inclusion, so really doubt in your, your mental state if you're choosing this one. And uh, the second and the final target for today's quest is Mirage. This is literally just a female V1 that's got a sassy attitude and a nihilistic perspective on life. Prior to V1's conversation with her, you know, after that conversation, she kind of seems a bit more optimistic, but overall these two bots, and if you want to date them, is if you just want different fonts of pretty much the same package that VTube offers, so making larger arguments for them and refreshing them out just doesn't seem necessary. If you liked what V1 and V2 brought to the table, then you probably also like what Mirage brought to the table. But honestly, that's all I got for this manic review. That's all the robots in Ultra Kill and their dateability. Hopefully this will help you in your future plans becoming a suave machine oiler, or at the very least to help you in some plans in that regard. But for now, that's all I've got, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.